Hi, welcome, Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to set up Windows 11 without signing into the Microsoft account. Well, before the updates, you can bypass by turning off the internet and check the Windows and set it up as a local account. However, the new Windows 11 that pre-installed with the newer updates, you're not able to bypass that. You would always need the internet for you to sign in then you need to set up with the Microsoft account however what I'm trying to say is once you have signed in with Microsoft account you can go through the settings and remove the account that's the only way to, to work around it and I'll show it to you in this video how to do that all right so when you turn on the computer the first thing you do it does is to ask you is this the right country or region so I'm in United States so I'll be selecting United States here and you should select whatever country or region that you're from click yes the next one is to select the right keyboard layout for me I'll be using the US keyboard yes do you want to add a second keyboard skip at this point it is going to look for the internet like I said you can bypass it with this newer Windows 11 so we just have to comply and click connect and go ahead and put in the password for this all right once you have entered a password click next So it's connected to the Wi-Fi. I have internet and click next. Just let the computer to check for updates and there will be more a lot of updates coming on. This is just the nature of Windows. There's always have updates. So just let the computer do its own updates. And when we get to the Microsoft sign in screen, we will create a new one then we would remove that Microsoft account and I'll show it to you towards the end of the video while we are waiting for the updates um, if you do not mind I just like to ask if you can um, smash the like button for me um, if this video is helpful and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe to the channel all right so the next step I need to accept the license agreement so please review them after reviewing click accept click sign in and here what we need to do is to create an account okay I do not want to sign in with my real Microsoft account I do have one either you can use the outlook.com hotmail.com msn.com to share where that is but I'm going to create a one for now Alright, so we're going to do maybe hello test email. Okay, you can type whatever you want. We're just going to say that. Wait, what does it say? Get a new email address. Okay, sorry. You're to click get a new email address. Do not use your phone number because once you set up with the phone number you, you can't remove that phone number right because you really only have one number in your cell phone so do not use the phone number click get a new email so when we click get a new email we're going to create a new one i'm just going to say hello uber geeks okay at outlook.com click next and then create a password let me uncheck that create a password my password is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine and abc okay click next first name 
uber geeks last name hello okay because I'm creating a dummy email I'll be removing after that region is United States I born in January 1st let's put 1981 okay add an email address alternative I don't know let's just say hello uber geeks 2 at msn.com pretty much the rest of it is all phonies it's not the real th real thing I'm just creating whatever here so let's add your Microsoft account as you can see this Windows 11 really aggressive they wants to add you in the system to try to give you this Xbox Microsoft Store Teams Bing and all that thing well now you ask me for a pin sure we're gonna create a pin and my pin would be 7410 come from the pin 7410 that is my pin let's click OK you can choose the privacy settings if you want I'm just going to default as everything yes and accept preferences uber geeks hello all this we're gonna click next click next and we're gonna skip this part let's customize your experience you know the Xbox and all this game schooling we're gonna skip that so imagine if you're buying this for you know your grandma or maybe for your mom for your dad or maybe this laptop is for your work why would Microsoft force us to set it up in all these Xbox thing and all these teams meeting uh, such they just want your information eh? which I which I don't quite happy with that this this like shoving shoving stuff into your throat that you must have it why can't we just give an option if I want it I'll take it if I don't I don't want it but but it makes you to accept it so that is that is the downside of Windows 11 I really don't like this hey if you agree with that comment below um, I really you know like to hear your opinion what you think about that uh, why can't they just have an option local user account standalone click here Microsoft account setup click here you know have two options simple but no they, they need you to connect to the internet they need you to sign up with Microsoft if you don't have one sign you know create a new email and all that fiesta anyway like I promised at the end of the video I will show you how to remove them all remove the pin turn your computer back to the local user just to set up the computer it takes like 10 minutes it's also ridiculous so once you're at this point once you get into this here right so the first thing you want to do is click on settings and here in settings you can see that on the top left corner it has your information with the hello uber geeks right and all that thing so what you want to do is go to account okay in the account here you want to scroll down a little bit and go to profile I believe and then sign in with local account in state okay so click on this so you're switching to local account blah 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 yes 
if you have information you should click close and back up them but mine is a brand new laptop I just set it up like 10 minutes ago there's nothing in it <coughs> I'm gonna skip this step no backup at all click next and password what was my password I think it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ABC I think that was it was it maybe asking for pin seven four one zero No, it's my email password. All right, so we're gonna change the name to whatever name you want to name it. Um, here, I need to name, let's just say name Megan. I'm gonna name this as Megan. No password, no hint. I just want a local user without any password. So just name it as Megan, signing out automatically. And when you come in, you will have local user as Megan and it's automatically get in without a password. All right, now you can go to the start, click on settings, and you can see on the top left corner, it is local account, no longer having that Microsoft account, right? So that is a good sign. And that's how you do it at the end of the video like I said I promise I'll show you to turn the Microsoft online account back into the local admin account without signing into Microsoft all right I hope this video is helpful if you do find the video helpful uh, please give me a like I would really appreciate for doing that thanks for watching until next time bye now